Hey, everybody, this is Andy Hall. You're watching Best Advice Ever, the show where awesome people come on and talk about the best advice they ever got. If you like this episode, like the show, hit like, subscribe, maybe even leave a comment. Today, today, our guest is Tommy Sunshine. Tommy Sunshine's a really funny guy. Oh, I knew him years yeah. ago back in Boston when we were doing comedy. He has a great YouTube channel. But, Tommy, enough of me talking about you how about you talk about you talk okay. about your youtube channel and you well hey thanks for that great intro i mean i don't know last we met we were in boston probably at the comedy studio or something like that i don't yep. i don't know it's been a long time but uh as far as me and my youtube i started back i started the youtube channel years ago but i never really did anything with it uh, a friend of mine said you know, told me one day, hey, why don't you try these things I saw these guys on YouTube doing called reaction videos, you know what I mean? So I was like, ah, what are you talking about? You know, and he gave me, he's like, well, why don't you react to this guy named Mercules? And he's a YouTube rapper from Canada, you know? So I did a YouTube on, or I did a reaction. You know, I watched a few, like, they got real big reactors, like No Life Shack and some other right. guys. But, uh. So I watched some of those to like get a feel of what I should be doing, and uh, I started on a, a Mercules. He did a Old Town Road remix. You remember that song? Yep. Oh I'm yeah. I'm sure you yeah, loved that's it. Song. That's a great song. <laughs> but uh, I did that, and uh, it got some hits. And then I did like an AK. This is young kid named uh, Austin. I can't remember his middle name, but or his last name. But uh, I did one on him, and just started taking off, and you know, a little bit of here and there stuff but then eventually i got a big hit and started building up followers and it just went crazy from there and i mean boston comedy you know i got into comedy back then and it was like you know soul crushing defeatist <laughs> it's it can be rough as you probably well know it, you have your ups and downs in comedy so, it, 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 it is difficult because you hear or not hear the laughs yeah. in real oh, yeah. time. Right. It isn't like uh, people are checking out and checking you out on videos and hitting likes or dislikes. It's like right. they are right there. Yeah. A few right feet there. away. And it's like it's like that freaking feeling in your gut when it's like not going good or whatever. I mean, it's great when it's good. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's so, it's so wonderful. But. You know, it can be it can be soul crushing. And uh, so but I love the feeling of like, you know, creating and entertaining and just having fun being silly. Well, that's the thing about your videos. A couple of things. One is that they are really fun and you can tell <laughs> that you are having fun making them Two, speaking as a person who is not. Uh, who's older, let's say that's a nice way yeah. of putting yeah, that's it, another who, thing. Yeah. Who, who is older, I am not aware of the music scene, but watching your videos, my friend, has got me plugged back in. Uh, I know, it's right. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, because I'm the old man. You don't expect Gramps Reacts, you know? It's like, Gramps I Reacts, wish, that, that's a great hook, though. That's a great I hook. I wish I had changed the name of my channel. Like, I changed the name of the channel. Like, I guess once you get so many, you can change your channel name right. one time. And I changed it to Tommy Sunshine. Yeah. I wish I had just changed it to Gramps Reacts because it seems like, you know, I met that, actually, I actually met Mercules once. He had a, oh, really? a concert down here and, and uh, I went and met him and he saw he saw me. He was like, oh, Gramps Reacts. I can't believe you. And I was like, God damn. You know what I mean? It was really cool. But That's great, dude. Yeah, it was it was awesome, and uh, he was calling me out in his little in his concert and shit to all the people there, and I was like, I was just getting tore up, dude. <laughs> oh, that's that's <laughs> you know that's me too, Fantastic. you know. That's, well, that's dude, one you of, are you are always fun to be around. Uh, well, I try to have fun, and you know, I try to share. You know, one of the things about me is I like to allow anyone in. That's one of the things I always want to be like, come on in, come on in, you know, sit, take a seat, you know, we'll you know try to. Be inviting, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Well, I think but, this is a good place for us to start up with the best advice you ever got. Yeah. So that was like in, in relations to, to what exactly, you know? I mean, I, it's such a hard question because I've always told people that I give great advice, but I make the worst fucking decisions ever. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I, I don't know what I've done in my life, but the last few years, I, I put a mindset on, I was like, I got to make the right decision. That's my new goal. 
But as far as the greatest advice I've ever been given is probably just, you know, I don't know. As far as YouTube, it was to do those reacts. You yeah. know what I mean? Because that's where, I mean, it, it, it suits me. And the guy that gave me that advice was one of my good friends, Jeff Young. You probably know him, too. I, oh, I know but, Jeff. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, so we did comedy back in Boston, too. But he's like, man, you know what you'd be really good at is you'd be good at this because it fits your personality. It fits your style, you know, because you just you get in there and you you just call people out, but not in a, a mean way. Like or you just that's one thing that sometimes I have a problem with is just, uh, you know, uh, giving someone like negative criticism like or if i don't like something you know what i mean i have a hard time with that reaction because it's like i hate to be like negative to people you know my mom always said can't say so nice don't <laughs> right. think it all. you know same old fucking shit you know but it, as far as like in real life the best advice i ever got was probably just to uh i don't know man fix my credit pay my bills <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, those things, those basic things like putting on your pants in the morning. Yeah. That's really important stuff to do. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, hey, imagine showing up to work in your undies, you know? It, it, it might be being, a problem. Yeah, and being under crippling debt, that's like not putting your pants on in the morning. Or at, least, at least allowing it to happen. Oh, yeah. And not doing something about or, it. Yeah, and just uh, – the, the crippling debt and then like uh the, the job i have now requires like a security clearance you know what i mean so oh, if, yeah. if you get into bad credit a situation they won't even hire your ass because yeah you're a bad credit or if you're a bad credit risk that's a chance for someone to like make a a, a move on you to like i work for the government so if i have a bad credit someone can use that bad credit to like sway me to like give them information about what i do and stuff you know what whatever yeah yeah now, now here's an interesting question what does bad credit mean? I mean, is there a line that you have to have? I mean, to me, I would say bad credit is like you can't get credit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, yeah you, if you apply for a credit card, and you can't get it. Or just, you know, if you ain't paying your bills, like what happened to me was back earlier in life with my uh, first two wives. <laughs> 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 so the credit thing that got started there but as far as bad it was like you know unpaid bills and stuff you know but i didn't have right. i didn't have any uh what do they call it when they take your shit any repos or nothing like repos that. right but yeah. Yeah. i hear that's really bad but just not you know and not having a credit history is bad too but oh, yeah. credit i hate talking about money and politics and shit but Things you don't have a problem with that about. No, dude, 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 I just caused trouble. Whenever my kids ask me what I've been doing, I just say, yeah. Yeah, I'm just causing trouble. And they're like, oh, normal, right? It's like, yeah, yeah just yeah. normal stuff, man. Exactly. Normal stuff. Well, you know, I like talking about those topics. And people on the, there are definitely people on the internet who want to hear that kind of content. Oh, no. no, I believe it. And believe me, like, just being, like, controversial gets a lot of, a lot oh, yeah. of action, a lot of movement to come sure. look at you. I mean, yeah. that's... One of the things I have a hard time with is the negative criticism on like the YouTubes or when they'll say, oh, you fucking old man, what are you doing on YouTube? Get out of here and shit like that. Right. And, you know, I just I just ban the motherfucker and I just try to move on. But inside, inside, I'm like crying. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, the thing is, those people who make those comments, they're middle school kids. Yeah. Who are eating Lunchables <laughs> because. Because their mom is divorced and she works three jobs and they're just <laughs> angry. You know, now, that, that's what. Now I'm thinking about negative things to say about a freaking middle schooler, you know, like, fuck you, you little kid. I banged your mom last night and she wasn't that good. You know, I, we talk a lot about advice on this show, of course. Yeah. And, you know, I think people just listening being able to listen to the advice other people give you. So so Jeff gave you this great piece of advice. Yeah. But if you weren't open to hearing that, it would have just gone right over your head and you wouldn't be doing what you're doing uh, now. Yeah, that's a that's an awesome uh comment because you really have to be open minded in in the in in life in general, you know, like to to be able to, you know, like you know, if you want to move forward, yeah, yeah if you well, want to move forward, you got to be yeah, able to, you just to hear. You have to be able to take it in and you have to listen to people. And it doesn't matter if you like the mofo or if they're white, black, girl, boy, you know what I mean? Or they're gay or straight, whatever they are, 
man, they could have you some great advice and it might change your life. You know, well, like it did on for me on YouTube. I mean, uh, I mean, look, I am no big star on YouTube. I make jokes about it, but it, it, you, it, you have 8,000 subs. That's a respectable yeah, amount of subs. That, it made it jump for sure. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it's just, from there, you just got to keep working and grinding and, you know, try and f- refine your, your thing. But yeah, you got to be open-minded and willing to take that advice. And, you know, uh, I feel like those are the decisions that I've made that are poor in life is like when I get that great advice and I just choose to ignore it, you know right. what I mean? And that's sure, like, you sure. know, like your mom have, and dad always gave you great advice, but you right. never listen to them. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, there, there are times I will tell, okay, let me, let me back up in it. When I was getting married, right. I'm not divorced, of course, but when I was getting married, I had two of my buddies sit me down and do the talk. Yeah, yeah. You know, Andy. You re- this is not the right match for you. Right. Completely, exactly. completely but wrong. And I'm love. like, but I'm in love. I'm like 20 something years old. Yeah. I feel it in my heart. I feel I it in my heart. We're going to be and together forever. Forever and ever yeah. and ever. <laughs> and and um, I was just not open to what they, what wisdom they were dropping on me. Oh, God. I mean, and I've done I the just, same thing. I, I've told people is. stuff. Everyone yeah. does. Especially, yeah. you know, and that's one of the things you get when you're older like this. You recognize all those mistakes that you made younger in life. I mean, shit, man. When I was in the Marine Corps, I had like – like I was an instructor my last tour of like uh, young guys right out of boot camp. I would teach them our our, our job, our MOS. Right. But uh, they'd be going out on the weekends – getting laid their first time coming back with a girl be like oh staff sergeant i want to get married we're gonna get married i need this weekend off i'd be like no 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 wait a minute but of course they'd be married in a week or two didn't matter and they would be you know and two months later they'd be crying about how she was banging the the dudes at the barracks yeah yeah there is uh i had a buddy in the military he was over in iraq for a little while yeah and he was stationed out west from what I understand, there are certain incentives to get married in the military. You get certain perks. Oh well, yeah, you, yeah, they, they give you more money to like live out in town and stuff like that. I, you, I wouldn't really call it. It's not meant to be an incentive. I don't think it's more like meant to be like, you know, to to help you survive because they don't pay the single guys as much as they pay the married guys. Which that's right. you no, know, what is that? <laughs> that that doesn't seem right. That doesn't yeah. seem right. It but you, but you know, money. you know, my, so my buddy is like basically 1500 miles away, 2000 miles away. Right. And he meets this girl and marries her. And I didn't even have the chance to do the talk. Right. right. <laughs> he, he I didn't even have a chance. Him. Didn't even have the chance to do the talk. Not that it would have done any good because he was, a, you know, it won't come on. Yeah, of course not. But, yeah. but for me, I feel like it's right. my job. It's a responsibility. Talk. It's a responsibility. And sometimes I will preface it with, you know, I know this isn't going to do any good, but <laughs> yeah. as your friend, I feel compelled Exactly. I have to say these things to you. Exactly. And and hey, and if they choose not to like listen and take that wonderful advice, yeah, at least you did your do. You know, you did your job. That's what yeah. you did. Yeah, that's that's cool though. But I mean, it's 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 tough to be able to take that advice, and it's you know, it's a lot easier to give advice than it is to take it. Oh yeah, yeah. But it it's really a, is. But a lot of that is because you've been there and you've 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 witness the things that can occur whenever you don't you know do oh, things or, or when you take when you make stupid moves you know which right you know we're all gonna make stupid moves well that's exactly it you're gonna make stupid moves and hopefully you're gonna be able to um spread the wisdom around a little bit right and that's what, yeah. one of the reasons why i'm doing this show is yeah, just yeah. to say hey you know we're gonna have the combined wisdom of all these people people who don't suck either yeah and <laughs> And you can look at them at your leisure, and right. and That's there are some real idea. gems in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like the 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 premise. You know, this has been a great conversation, Tommy Sunshine. Where can people find you online? Oh yeah, I guess at YouTube. Just look up uh, YouTube.com/slash Tommy Sunshine. <laughs> That's <laughs> that'll great, get man. there. Well, thanks again for coming on the Best Advice Ever. This has been a great conversation. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Just come and see me, man. I could do the old Tommy Sunshine. Ha, ha, ha.